This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Conan Exiles video. Today I want to talk about something I haven't seen a single person mention about the 3.0 update. Let's get to it. Have you ever had someone give you a gift that's for themselves? You know, it usually goes a little something like this. I am so excited. You're going to love this. It's the best gift ever. I can't wait for you to open it here. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Thanks so much. It's a saw. I know, isn't it great? Just think about all the different things I can cut for you. You love it, right? I'm sure we've all been there. Anyway, I think this is what Funcom's doing with the build update coming in 3.0. Let me explain. Currently, in Code and Exiles, building works like this. You build your wall or whatever it is you wanna build and you have that item in your inventory and then you can place that item. This allows you to do things like trade DLC content. So for example, if you have a wall that I like and I don't own that DLC, you can build me a bunch of those walls and hand them to me and then I can build my base with them. We don't have to be in the same guild or anything. You can simply drop them on the ground and I can pick them up. Once 3.0 is released, building will work like this. And I'm going to use the game Raft as an example because it is a perfect representation of how building will work. You simply have to have the crafting materials in your inventory and then you select what you want to build from the build hammer and then you place it. There is no actual item that goes into your inventory. And they are super hyped about this change and they talk about it anytime they talk about the 3.0 update. It's one of the biggest changes coming to the 3.0 update along with sorcery. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, yeah, that's a cool update. That's a neat change. What's the big deal? Well, it's not a massive deal, but basically you're not going to be able to trade any of your DLC items anymore. And I have a feeling that they've done this and they made this change because of the new microtransactions that are coming to Conan Exiles in the 3.0 update. We know they are going to sell a lot of different decor stuff as well as building sets in the microtransaction store. I have a feeling that this change is to force you to buy that stuff if you want to build with it because your friends can't just build it and hand it to you to place anymore. Now, we will still be able to exchange armor and weapons. So if you have a DLC set of armor that your friend loves, but it's the only thing that they like out of that DLC set, so they never bought it because you just make the armor for them and they're happy with that. That can still happen. So we will be able to trade weapons and armor. Even weapons and armor we bought from the in-game microtransaction shop should still be able to be traded. Now, as I stated earlier, this isn't a huge deal. It's just something Something that I wanted to point out because I don't think many people realized this was a thing. I also don't know how many people exchanged building things. I know there's a couple things from one of the DLCs that I don't own that I had some people build for me in the past, but overall I'm not sure how rampant this trading situation really is. I feel like if anything we probably trade weapons and armor more than building pieces or decor stuff. Now I also want to point out that this may be doable with mods. So there are mods like Pickup Plus that allow you to pick up items and put them back into your inventory. And there still may be ways to put items back into your inventory in vanilla but we won't know for sure until we get our hands on the 3.0 update. Let me know what you all think about this down in the comments section. Is this something that makes you mad? Do you not really care? I'm a bit indifferent. I'm kind of like, meh, at least we can still trade the weapons and armor, but I can't lie, it was a nice little feature that we had in the game. And that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this one. If you found it helpful or informational, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. I want to give a special shout out and thank you to Tiz Jester. And I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos sponsor free. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to become an official channel supporter, please check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.